Hey, what's up Distiller viewers? We are here on Sunset Boulevard, enjoying the sunshine as always. We got a dope episode for you guys here at Delicious Vinyl, where we're gonna take it all the way back for all you hip hop viewers and hip hop fans. We got also Mr. J Dilla's prodigy, also known as AKA Frank Nitty, Frank Nit. So don't miss it. Amazing, delicious. Yeah. So this is uh, this is one of uh, the most important offices in the building right here. Oh wow! This is where all the money comes to. Okay. Uh, it's the money room. You see, it's locked. Yeah, and it's green. It's green. <laughs> and gates and stuff like it's, I know it's the room. forefront. It's for people to see. You know when yeah, they you, can see you can't touch and envision the money, but you can't. You can't have touch. It. <laughs> That's the ticket, right? All right, so, cool. You know, this is up into uh, the layer area. Nice. So over there, we'll get over there. That's where we're going to have an interview, I think. Okay, and okay. here, let me see what's going on. <laughs> this is uh, my little studio area. Okay. So I got two people in here, but they ain't doing nothing. They listen. So we... <laughs> he said, let's see what's going on. There's a camera. There's a camera. Surprises. There's a camera. Only there's the there's stiller. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, nice right, to so meet you. Um, that there, sitting on the couch, the lovely young lady there is uh, Bob the Apple one. She's on the Sunset Boulevard album. Nice. So I'm with uh, nice to meet you. Working <laughs> on her record. Nice. All right. It's a secret 00 uh, agent mission. That 007. I'm gonna have to kill the cameraman. After. <laughs> uh, Exclusive. This here, this uh, peaceful Haitian man sitting in front of me. <laughs> it's, it's Haitian Reggie. He's he's my uh, production partner. All right. Uh, you know, so he he uh. He has velvety fingers. I bet he does. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> he says pause. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting it behind the scenes. Yeah. This is amazing. We got a right. studio. Yeah, we got the studio and, you know, it's an office over there. That's where all the magic happens. Uh, hold on, I'll show you something interesting. That yes. You can't find anywhere else. Hold on, hold on. You're going to find this anywhere. This is super Oh, I'm kind of scared. Right on from 1994. Oh, damn. What y'all distiller viewers know about that though? Ten years ago, I mean twenty years ago, uh, okay. R. Kelly was popping. Guess what? R. Kelly got a new album out today, and he's still um, popping. And he's still popping. See, uh, we got Nas on the cover. Nas. Uh, Escape. He what? looks familiar, actually. He's uh, a former uh, show, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lorenz Tate. Okay. Yeah. His girlfriend, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Janet. This is not, like, you know, this is. And that's it came, really it came old to school. This building, right? So understand that's more than 20 years of history right of delicious vinyl being here, and I have it. I have proof of it right here. That's right? insane. That's what it's about. It ain't about the goofy cover. It's about. <laughs> but anyway, history, history. Right? Let's go. Come on. That's crazy. Let's go have a seat. <laughs> What's up, Distiller viewers? We're here and we got the episode and interview we promised you with Mr. Frank Nitt, AKA Nitty. Yeah. Nitty. <laughs> Shouldn't name me Nitty. We got MC, rapper, you're taking it back. You know, you've been in the game for a bit. And yeah. so let, let's, before we, you know, kind of go about what you're doing now, let's rewind it. Um, you know, tell the viewers what it is, you know, um, well, you came from, where you came wow. from. Wow. Um, I guess that we were just listening to it. I put out my first record. 1999, uh, okay. uh, produced by the late great Jay Dilla, the uh, Jay Dilla. legendary producer. If you don't know, you should do some homework. But you know, uh, some of your favorite rappers, favorite rappers, rapped on his beats. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you know, uh, he passed away in, in 2006 from lupus complications. But uh -huh. basically, uh, 
my career started with him. We grew up, I met him in ooh, 1980. Six, six. So, from little bitty kids to adults. So let's go down to um, a video that you definitely want to showcase. We shot the video uh, here in LA and a few other locations that we didn't go to. It was like, you know, more whatever, but mostly in Watts. Oh, wow. Shout out, shout out to Watts Towers. You know, so it has a, a very historic vibe too. Yeah. You know, we want to do something classy and just, you know, That's dope. show a different side of it. Okay, well, we'll talk a little bit more just about that video because I really am interested. Um, so you guys definitely check it out. We got Quick Sand by the Yancey Boys featuring Common and Desi, and Desi Page. So check it out. I rocked the crooked smile, since they took off my braces. Back on Stony Eye, we was on our own oasis. Mild sauce, hot tempers, cold cases. Huh. I ran the town not knowing it was racist. We're standing on the deck to smoking aces. Grace is a wonderland. I seek the face of the son of man. A fatherless child that made it to the motherland. I think I thought these raps really took me. A veteran in this game, I stayed fresh like a rookie. When I was underground, they used to overlook me. Now flicks and book tours make it hard for them to book me. The presence of Ra, the essence of a star. Jewelry in a car, suggesting who we are. The blessings of Ja, that come through us all. I'm seasoned, y'all, I never knew when to fall in the quicksand. Man's been a shorty, consolidate the dollars, go dumb, E40. Put pimping in your poetry, no sleeping with your jewelry off. And when you get your chance, slam dunk it, run the jewelry off. And I did that, me and my guys repping the city. And I hustle with no pity, they christened me Frank Nitty. And I took that and I ran with it, made a few stacks and some bands with it. But then I brought it home, a student must have teachers on. And I could never dream it could go from the Yancey's basement to me standing up on stages in front of some foreign faces. Get loving those foreign places like we from there. And oh yeah, they like where the Dollars at. I'm like, I'ma call you back and please let me clarify. Player, I'll be damnified. Ever let the picture fade to black before I say goodbye? Spot you like you Spotify. Nitty make the song cry. I'ma let Illa sing this lullaby. Quick sing.
at Musicians Institute, you can discover your own creative voice and get the training you need to make your dreams a reality. With a curriculum designed by the brightest minds in contemporary music, the world-renowned programs at Musicians Institute help you master the art that drives you. Don't waste another minute. Enroll now for this spring by visiting mi.edu or by calling 1-800-ALL-PLAY. We are back with Mr. Frank Nitti, aka Mr. Frank Nitt. So yeah, how did Nitty, by the way, come about? Nitty, Nit? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I swear I was doing my research and I was like, okay, it's not Nitty. It is not Nitty. <laughs> it, it wasn't. It, 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 it was. But there's several Frank Nitties as rappers. Right? There's several of them, right? Like, so I was like, well, wait a minute, because it's not something that I didn't make Nitty my name. Ah. Uh, Given to me. Okay, like, okay. Dilla kind of started with it, and then all of the hood kind of, you know, all of my people kind of took to it. Okay. That's how it came about. So right? you, you're your own Nitty. Well, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a special Nitty. <laughs> so, you know, but nah, you know, I acknowledge that there's other people out there using the name, and that's fine, you know, whatever. So I just <laughs> dropped the Y and made it mine. Nice, that's all. You know what I'm there you like, go. So. so, okay, this uh, music video, the quicksand music video with comments. Tell us a little bit more about that. How did that come about, the whole production uh, with the song as well yeah. as the video? Oh, man. Um, well, with the song, obviously we had Dilla tracks already. Right. And, um, you know, what me and Ella were doing, we were, just, we were recording a, a new song every day. So it was just, the process was just, you know, we sit down, we go through the beats, we pick something. We, it, it, well, I would let him pick the beat, realistically. Whatever caught his ear. Right. And we would either, one of us would come up with a piece of the record, whether it was a chorus or maybe he had a verse or he had a bridge or a singing part or something. And we would start with that and build it. from that. You know what I mean? And uh, that particular beat, Quicksand, uh, like maybe a day before he left here to go on tour, he just said, oh, I'm gonna just sing or something on a couple beats. So he just sung a little melody and that wow. was it and he left. So um, when I finally got in touch with Com, with Common, he was, you know, in Calgary filming for his TV show. Right. And uh, finally caught him down here, got in touch with him, he had a show, and I just bombarded him. Hey. Hey. I mean, cause I've known him for, for a while. Yeah. So. Uh, Talked to him, kind of got that situation in line for mm -hmm. him to record the verse. <clears throat> I sent him two beats, and one had the singing on it, and that was the one he picked. Oh, wow. So he, he racked his verse and sent it back to us. So it was just like his verse, and his verse was kind of around the, the the part that Illa sang, but the part that Illa sang was really small. It was just something he had on him, just let me sing. A little demo. Yeah. And, um, so we kind of built from there, and the next piece was Desi Page. Nice. And Illa was gone by the time we were, I had all the pieces together. So okay. he laid his verse in Montreal. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So y'all made it work. in Calgary, he laid his verse in Montreal. I read, me and Desi recorded here. That's amazing. Uh, and you know, as far as the video go, it was kind of because we were working kind of in between common shooting schedule. Oh, wow. So, and again, he was in Calgary. So we had to, you know, kind of, we shot our parts and went on tour. Wow. And had to come back and shoot his This is what it really takes, you guys. <laughs> Some work, you know? Yeah. Especially, like, with a, uh, 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 a star, the caliber of Thomas. Yeah. He's not just a music guy, he's a movie guy, a TV guy, you know? All over the place. Just like you, you got the slashes. Yeah, it, you know, you definitely, I learned some of my slash game from him. No, hey, uh, there we go. <laughs> you know, so, you know, when you have a person like that, you have to kind of, you know, make concessions Absolutely. to make things work. And, you know, I, I have to give him a, a thumbs up because he didn't have to do it for us, but he did it. Yeah. And, you know, we had to shoot, like I said, we shot in Watts, we shot, you know, a couple other locations around here. That's and, awesome. And, you know, and, put it all together it made it work it see it out. and that's just a you know a live example of what it takes to really you know go after something and kill it you know go after yeah. something because you guys feel that it has a purpose and, a purpose. and that's awesome that common like you said just you know definitely had and, 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 two cents everybody put it in there record. everybody you know like i said from guilty simpson to to talib to eric roberson to all of these different great artists paying homage for sure yeah of course they all you know stepped up and and held us down, so you know, I'm more than appreciative of it. You know, it's ah, uh, well, amazing. you know, this whole interview was just amazing. It really kind of, it honestly, I feel like I learned a lot too. You know, there's a lot of young of us 
young cats out here really trying to make it and it's dope to really know your history, you know, know your knowledge, know where it comes from and it's people like you that are still paving the way, you know, just to, to give that wisdom to so many different people. I see all the youngins you're working with, like it, yeah. it's just something to definitely pay homage to. So thank you wow. for that. Wow. Thank you for this interview. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys follow him, the Yancey Boys. They got a, a dope album right now, Sunset Boulevard, so check it out. Um, and anything else you want to let the people know? I mean, oh man, everything. Whatever <laughs> I put on Twitter, just go get it, buy it, eat it, whatever it is. Eat it. <laughs> all going to be good for you in the long run. It's edible. I am good for your soul. <laughs> Look at my face. I love him. He's dope. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, Yancy Boy, Sunset Boulevard. It's stores right now. Go get that. All right, guys. Yeah. Check it out. Hey, and we're back. We're here and decided to come to Soul Diver Studio, where one of our friends, Jay, is gonna teach us how to make a beat. So come on and join us. Okay, so to make a beat, where exactly should we start? Pretty much we just start at the, uh, the drum, the drum kit. So, okay. so pretty much, you got something going on right here. So what you wanna do is, if you wanna play around with it, you know what I'm saying, you can, you know. So there's just different. Yeah, different sound, like sounds within the, kids, the kit. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's cool how it does that. It yeah. just keeps on going. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's try this one. Oh. So then what we're gonna do is just press record. Hey, our next video is the Yancey Boys with their new single, The Throwaway. It's featuring Frank Nin as well as produced by Mr. Jay Dilla. Make sure you guys check it out. Feature presentation. So Yancy boys. boys. Right near the beach. Boom clot. We uh, you think you know me, but you don't know me. You never knew me, and you never know me. Say out of my business, homie. And I'm not buying no more right your baloney. You won't even think you don't know me, but give me my cheese back. You rats, cause you went from nothing to me and back to back. Situations while we sit here and blaze back to back blunts. While I sip on the half and half lemonade, reminiscing about the past. Remember the Dilla Lay? First D Wed, then Dilla Dilla J. Haters been afraid, cause I'm the new generation. Share, but they paying attention today. Now nah, every conversation, make sure my name is LJ is my name. And Yancy Boys is my same. And Jay Dilla's my brother. And that's the reason I'm famous for all the progress I'm making, for all the money I'm stacking, for all the flows that I'm rapping. The drums are forever slapping.
So I learned how to spit absolutely crazy rap to shoot my career out the roof from out the booth. And all I did was spit out the truth, cut out your roots. Now you're back sitting on the couch at Dilla House trying to learn alien secrets. You thought I didn't know what I was right there. Every day you can ask Frank, you whole ass punk ass Dilla groupie skanks. Talking trash me in my back, but you smiling in my face. Trying to ask me for a track. Nope, you gotta ask Frank. Get McNasty is back with a brand new name. Call it Digi by bringing the noise to your city block. Cake boys with the thick knock. Here they come, y'all. Here they come, you can run away So bad I should hit you with the door away But I'ma keep it hidden like a storm away But if you want this, then you gotta get So now what you want to do is since we got the snare, you know, we just want to add that little kick to it, you know, to make it a little, give it a little flavor. Okay. Okay, so now that we have the drums, is there like a bass line that we can go ahead and add absolutely, to? Absolutely, absolutely. And this is called a bass line, right? Yeah, this is where we add the bass line at. And does this have a melody yet or not yet? No, and this doesn't have a melody yet. Okay. But that's the good thing about machine because you can always add a melody. I mean, there's so many instruments on here, anything. <laughs> Let's see here. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so let's try to add a mel melody for sure. Awesome. I like this one a lot. So once you do that, then you just kind of, once you get kind of like a feeling of what you like, so if you like that, so just record that. That's it right there, you know. You pretty much got the, the foundation of your beat. You know what I'm saying? And hey. once, once it's done, you know, you just mix it. That's where you go to mix it. Man. Really? That's yeah, it? That's it. You we know? just made a beat. Oh, that's cool. That's it. And you just go to mix it. So I can literally make a song in 10 minutes, pretty much. Pretty much, you know, That's much. awesome. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Check out our next video, Kazal Organism, with adolescents at 432 hertz. So, you, you do that, do so, do so much, you could do anything. P.E. Show, it's because our organism uh, is here to announce that I'm dropping my first album, Adolescence at 432 Hertz, on Delicious Vinyl. It's all the feelings and, and the new things that you experience at this age. You know what I'm saying? Like going from being a kid to a teen to an adult. You know what I mean? That's why it's kind of like dropping before I turn 18 to sort of like cap that era of my life off. And it's just like sealing a lot of the questions I had for myself and for just life with the music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's 
it's a very um it's a it's a it's a cool mix of traditional hip hop with a lot of you know experimental flavors and lasers and jazz and samples and all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Original music on there as well. Um some guitars from my man Kualo Chimal Masters by Daddy Kev. It's a good look for my, my first joint, you know what I'm saying? Super proud of that and see how it does and just keep going from there. Like starting the journey. Well, thank you so much. Uh, where can we find you on, uh, I'm sure it'll see Instagram, the, the, I mean, nah, nah, nah. No. <laughs> No, I'm actually on SoundCloud right now. There you um, go. My boy just put me on, so nice. yeah, I'm on SoundCloud right now at JGIN, getting it in. You know what I'm saying? And, okay. Um, yeah, that's. Well, we right just now. got an exclusive tutorial on Jay and his music and his beats. Um, he honestly uses this thing, and he, like you said, it's amazing. It's fast. It's fun. I've never made a beat before, so this was really easy and simple. And hey, I recommend all you guys to express yourself and use something like this. Have fun. What else? Um, yeah, just yeah. follow your dreams. Keep doing what it is you guys love time. to do. Producer, whatever it is, right? Absolutely. All right, well, yeah. thank you guys for watching. Uh, Distiller uh, viewers, definitely make sure you check out twitter.com. Distiller Show. At Distiller Show. <laughs> yeah. As well as on Instagram, at Distiller Show. Yeah, for sure. See you guys later, and thanks for tuning in. All right. Bye.